Hey guys, how's it going? Katrina here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Uh, I'm going to be talking about FUSA today uh, for our Keeper Corner, and I know what you're thinking. It's pronounced FUSA? What? I, it has two S's. I swear it's pr pronounced FASA. But next time you guys come to the zoo, you'll know that it's pronounced FUSA. Now, I would love to introduce you guys to Lizo. He is currently not out on exhibit, but I'm about to get him on exhibit. <coughs> Katrina to Tori, we are ready. All right, guys, here he comes. Oh, and there he goes. Now you might think that he kind of looks like a cat or a dog kind of put together, but he's actually most related to the mongoose. He is from Madagascar, that small island, I guess kind of large island off the coast of Africa. Now, Fusa are the largest carnivore of Madagascar, which is pretty cool. He pretty much runs the territory out there. His favorite meal is actually ring-tailed lemur, or lemurs in general. There are actually over 30 species of lemurs in Madagascar, so he pretty much gets to take his pick. But if you guys kind of think about that, lemurs are pretty quick, right? So in order to catch a lemur, you have to be faster than a lemur. So if you look at his body, it is pretty much pure muscle. He has 20 pounds of musculature, which is awesome. And you guys can see how he's moving, how agile he is, how quick he is, and how he uses his entire body to try to get what he wants. So what you guys are seeing right now, he's being super active and super awesome, is I hid a bunch of his diet out on exhibit today, especially for you guys. And I hope you guys are really enjoying this because he is really trying to go get all of these little pieces. So there's little pieces of meat that I just stuck pretty much all over the exhibit. And this is honestly his, oh my gosh, wow, he is really getting in there. Wow, do you see him? He is actually attached to the fence with just his back uh, hind paws, and then he is using his front paws to get what he wants. Um, everything on exhibit is pretty wiggly, so it's kind of hard to stay stable on anything, but he is really good at that because he's so muscular and lean. And that tail, that tail is really, really helpful because it is actually more than half of his uh, length, surprisingly enough, and you guys guessed it, he uses that for balance. You can kind of see him moving his tail about as he uses it to try to get what he wants. Um, and that is part of the reason that I actually redid this exhibit. We did this pretty much last week. I had a couple coworkers help me and I cannot tell you how excited um, I am to say that we finished redesigning his entire exhibit. Um, and we, my um, design goal was pretty much to make a jungle. So if you think about where he lives, he lives in Madagascar usually, he would be in the jungle. Oh, you guys see him using that tail? Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wow, he's, he's pulling it with his front paws. He's using those claws and he's trying to pull the tree towards him. He is so smart. Wow, but back to the uh, exhibit design, I really wanted to create something that was uh, really dynamic, something that wouldn't stay static for a long period of time, something that we could change within seconds. So if you kind of look on the exhibit as you are watching him go around, you'll see that there are little carabiners and eye hooks pretty much everywhere on exhibit. We did this on purpose because it's very easy to then take it off and put it on somewhere else, literally, redesigning and rearranging the entire exhibit in seconds. So this is really, really, really ideal for me and really, really ideal for him because he gets pretty much a new exhibit every couple of days, which is really cool. He doesn't really um, get used to any certain log or stick staying in one place. It pretty much is going to constantly keep moving. Wow, guys, look at him. He is kind of spider manning over there. He does this all the time, actually. I. Uh, really am always amazed every single time I see him do this. Now he is trying to get to that ball and he is finding it rather difficult because I put it in a really hard place to get on purpose to really challenge him. He is really fun with enrichment. I can really go uh, as hard as I can and it's still, sometimes he gets it in seconds. And what I, what I mean by enrichment, I would call the changing up the exhibit is enrichment uh, as I am right now and he is right now enrichment to you guys. And that ball is also in enrichment. So different things that I put into his exhibit are 
really cool and really different to him. So he has to essentially figure out a way to get to that ball. So it's really enriching to him because it, he doesn't do this every single day. I don't put the same things out every single day. So he really has to use his brain. Uh, so physically and mentally, he's really kind of struggling right now, but that's actually really enriching. He's really having to work for it, which is awesome. I don't just, you know, give all of my animals just a, a pan of meat and say, there you go. I really try to give them different things that are going to use different behaviors that we would see in the wild so that he really is getting enriched 100% of the time, which is really awesome. But I really wanted to say thank you guys for coming and watching our Cooper Corner today. I really appreciated it and I love seeing you guys. I can't wait to see you at the zoo. Uh, check the comments in um, under this video and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.